afternoon. This is Two Wolves, Le uh, Leah Little Wolf. That's who I am. I have to think for a minute. Using my alias. <laughs> well, this story's already been in the news, and some of you are no doubt making vids yourself this afternoon. But here we have this news story, quite breaking in increments. In this case, I'm referencing the WashingtonTimes.com, www.WashingtonTimes.com. Snowden, NSA uses fake Facebook to hack into users' computers by Douglas Ernst for the Washington Times today. Edward Snowden wants the world wants the world to know that the National Security Agency likes Facebook a lot. Glenn Greenwald's Intercept website and I won't go to that because it's I think it's infiltrated, reported the infamous leaker's newest revelation. The NSA uses a man-on-the-side technique codenamed Quantum Hand to masquerade as a fake Facebook server in order to hack the computers of the agency's targets, which, mind you, probably all of us are targeted individuals. I don't know about you, but I'm coming to realize that most of us are probably now TIs to one degree or another. So this is probably all of us, eh? There's Zuckerberg himself. Once a target attempts to log into Facebook, the NSA transmits malicious data packets that fool the target's computer into thinking they are legitimately from Facebook, enabling the NSA to access the target's computer and the data from its hard drive. So, let's say, I don't know, make up a name, Joe Smith, is trying to get into his Facebook account. Well, if he's a target of the NSA, Joe Smith will target Joe, Joe Smith's computer will be targeted. He'll think he's contacting Facebook. He's really opening himself up to the NSA, according to this article. If this statement by Snowden is true, the move would put or could already have put millions of users at risk. The National Journal interviewed Harley Geiger, the senior, senior counsel at the Center for Democracy and Technology, who said that if confirmed, the NSA would be acting like a giant spam bot. The use of malware implants should be targeted against specific threats in tightly controlled situations, but this kind of mass automated surveillance would put countless Internet users at risk, he said. Facebook denied having any knowledge of the NSA program. <laughs> right. Really? But said that other social networks could be infected with the malware. And mind you, mind I just add, if you don't have malware bytes on your computer, you'd better get it now. It's free. Going on, we have no evidence of this alleged activity, a Facebook spokesman told the journal. In any case... This method of network level disruption does not work for traffic covered over HTTPS, which Facebook finished integrating by default last year. If government agencies indeed have privileged access to network service providers, any site running only HTTP could conceivably have its traffic misdirected. The NSA responded to the National Journal with a statement, Signals intelligence shall be collected exclusively where there's a foreign intelligence or counterintelligence purpose. Whew, that is a relief. <laughs> Not really. I'm going to go to this blog, wsj.com backslash digits, backslash 201, backslash zero, by Reed Albergati and Danny Yadrin. And their article is entitled, Documents Say NSA Pretends to be Facebook in Surveillance. This is a lot more clear cut. Uh, 2.42 p.m. today. The National Security Agency has been disguising itself as Facebook, servers in order to gain access to the computers of intelligence targets, according to a new report. Citing new documents leaked by Edward Snowden, the online news site The Intercept reported the story Tuesday. 
The new document dump includes a minute-long video purportedly produced by the NSA and marked top secret that details the way the agency can manipulate computers into thinking they are contacting Facebook servers when in fact they are being directed to servers controlled by the NSA. According to the article, the deception involving Facebook was one of several techniques used by the NSA to conduct surveillance on millions of computers. These two articles present strikingly different data, do they not? Hmm. The video depicts a man using Facebook on a laptop computer. When he attempts to access a Facebook page, an NSA computer detects the request and sends the man data from its own servers disguised as Facebook traffic, a so-called man-on-the-side attack. The man thinks he's downloading his Facebook page, but is in fact also downloading what amounts to a computer virus that siphons information from his computer and sends it to the U.S. government. Oh, great! A Facebook spokesman said the company hasn't seen any evidence that the NSA has used the tactic against Facebook users. And he said in the video, he said the method described in the video would not work now since Facebook began using a higher level of security on its site last year. What about two years ago? Or three years ago, eh? He says in any case, Facebook isn't the only company that was vulnerable to such attacks by the NSA. Okay, we're going to follow this. Be really careful what you do. And probably, as I say, we should all consider ourselves targeted individuals. And there's some good websites one can find that can be helpful if that is in fact the case. Um, for now, this is two wolves carefully making off into the wilderness. I'm going to go find a den. Thanks for watching. Madakwiasin, we're all related and we are all in some peril. Be safe.